So in today's video, I'm going to be describing you from the sneakers you wear. Everyone seemed to enjoy the last one, so I'm doing another one. Now just to say, this is all just a bit of fun, so don't take it personally. But if you do get offended, don't take it out on me. I'm only going on the science here, and this is all based on science. But if you like this one, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So the first type of person I want to talk about is the type of person who wears Rick Owens sneakers. And if you don't know who Rick Owens is, then don't worry, we've got some really popular sneakers coming up. Now, I actually think there's two types of people here. One who just owns one or two pairs of the sneakers, Maybe it's the Ramones or the Converse collaboration. And the other one whose whole wardrobe is made up of Rick Owens pieces. So if you're the type who only owns one pair of sneakers from Rick Owens, or maybe a pair of shoes, or maybe two, then you're a hype beast or an influencer, or both. You like to tell people that you own some Rick Owens pieces, but as soon as they ask you anything else about the brand, you want the ground to swallow you up because you don't know how to answer them. And if you're the type whose wardrobe is full of Rick Owens pieces, then you like to think you know him on a personal level and you're on first name terms with him. And if you were talking to someone about Rick Owens who has no idea who Rick Owens is, then they'd think you were talking about a close friend of yours or your lover. You like everyone out there to know you wear Rick and you feel superior to people who don't wear Rick. You tell yourself that every piece you buy from Rick is an investment piece and you're going to be wearing it for years to come. But in reality, you 100% bought it to flex and to post it on Instagram. But even though you know that deep down, you tell yourself that you're buying these pieces because they make you happy and they're 100% not to impress anyone else. You sometimes like to keep your face hidden under a mask and it's not because of everything that's gone on in the world recently. It's because you like to add an element of mystery to your looks. But even though you like to add an element of mystery to your look, you still want people to know who's behind the mask because otherwise, how will they know it's you who wears Rick? And when you come in from a day of walking around in your kiss heels, you can't wait to slip them off. So you slip them off, you head over to your life-size cutout of Rick Owens, you bow down to him, stand up, give him a kiss, and head over to your computer because it's time to hit the forums and talk about avant-garde fashion. So after a long day, you're knackered. You want to get to bed and get to sleep. So you drift off to sleep and start dreaming of performing alongside Rick in the Butt Muscle music video. So we've got the Converse wearer next. So either you've been wearing these all your life and you don't know what else to wear, or you were late to the party and the only reason you didn't wear these sooner is because when you were a kid, you thought they looked like clown shoes. So you wore your Vans instead. But different styles of Converse have different wearers. So let's go through them. So if you wear the regular low tops or a pair of the slip-ons, then you're probably a woman in their 40s. If you've got the regular high top all-stars, then you wear them with a pair of skinny jeans and a flannel shirt, and your jeans probably have rips in them. And you either wear one pair in black or you own every color they've ever released. And if you're a Chuck 70 wearer, then you wouldn't dream of wearing the regular Chucks. No thanks, because why would you? And if you see someone wearing regular Chucks, you feel a bit sorry for them because you tell yourself they obviously haven't discovered the Chuck 70 yet. You also judge them a bit and think they've got no idea about fashion. But then you have to remind yourself that you're not in a pair of Rick Owens Ramones, so you're in no place to judge. If you wear the colorful Chuck 70s, then you're a hipster and you wear them with wide-fitting cuffed pants. Your favorite pair are probably your yellow pair, and even though you do own the black and white pairs, you only wear them for smarter occasions. You wear a hat 99.9% .9 of the time, you wear glasses even if you don't need to wear glasses, and you carry around a tote bag with you all the time. You're also a fan of selfish denim, and you appreciate the craft that goes into your clothing. You also might think that you know a bit more about life than everyone else. You're also the only Converse wearer who wears the low top Chuck 70s, and you probably own a pair of red wing boots. And if you're a Converse wearer and you don't wear the colorful pairs, then you probably own one pair or two pairs max a black pair and a white pair. And if you're in your late teens or early 20s, then you wear your Chuck 70s with vintage pieces, normally in earth tones. You'll wear your Converse until they're literally falling off your feet because you prefer the more beaten up look, or so you tell yourself because it saves you money. And if you post outfit pics to Instagram, then you like to cross your arms a lot or lean against a wall or do both at the same time. And if you wear Chuck 70 high tops in your late 20s and upwards, 
then your wardrobe is probably full of neutral colors and you bang on about it all the time and you probably shop at cars. You're also definitely an introvert and you appreciate your own time and you don't like to stand out from the crowd much. And if you wear the CDG Converse, then you think the only reason people aren't wearing the CDG Converse and they're wearing the Chuck 70s instead is because they don't know about the CDG Converse. And if you wear the Runstar Hikes, you probably prefer to wear the regular Chuck 70s. The problem with the regular Chuck 70s is they don't show people how into fashion you are. So you bought the hikes to push the boundaries a bit and to tell people you are all about fashion. And the next step for you is a pair of Rick Owens Converse or a pair of Rick Owens Ramones if you didn't own them already. So let's do the Vans wearer next. So if you wear Vans old school, then you either skate, you used to skate or you wish you skated. You like to wear slim fit jeans, normally in black, and you like to cuff them up to show off your white socks. And up top, a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt finishes off the look perfectly. And when it gets a bit chilly outside, you throw on a hoodie or a flannel shirt or a denim jacket. But which denim jacket? Either your denim jacket with a shearling finish or your regular denim jacket. I also remember the days when people who wear Gymshark wore these as well, but you don't see it as much these days. But they used to wear them with their skinny jeans or skinny chinos, cuff them up to show off some bare ankle, they'd be wearing no-show socks, and a muscle fit t-shirt. And if you wear Vans Authentic, then you're either this guy or this guy. If you wear Anaheim Vans, then you're very serious about your Vans. You've been wearing Vans all your life and you're done with the regular pairs. You wanted to take it up a level and wear the Anaheim version. And if someone in a pair of regular Vans comes up to you and says they're wearing the same shoes as you, then you make it very clear they're not wearing the same shoes as you. You've got the Anaheim version. You're also a heavy tote bag user and you're inspired by workwear and Japanese fashion. And for some reason, I picture you with your keys on a key organizer. I don't know why, I just do. You've also questioned yourself a few times. Are you too old to wear Vans? but you've been wearing them all your life and you wear the Anaheim version, so you're all good. If you wear white van slip-ons, then you never leave the house after dark. And if you do, you have to get permission, even if you're an adult. And if your go-to sneaker is the Air Jordan 1, then you couldn't imagine life without them. You love Travis Scott, so he can't do anything wrong in your eyes. And even if you don't like his music, if you don't actually like his music, you tell people you do and you force yourself to listen to it. If you ever find out that someone doesn't own a pair of Jordan 1s, you don't know how they cope in life, how do they get dressed in the morning? Also, the colorway that you wear is definitely not based on the internet's opinion on Jordan 1 colorways. It's just the one you like best. When you see someone in Jordan 1s, you get an instant connection to that person as long as they're wearing one of the cool colorways. If they're not, you don't want to have anything to do with that person. These days, you say you're glad that the hype's died down a bit because now it makes them more easily accessible. But deep down, you're panicking that they're no longer going to be on trend. And then what are you going to wear? So let's do the Air Max 1 wearer. If the only pair of Air Max 1s you've got are the Pata version, then you definitely bought them to show off on Instagram. However, if the Air Max 1 is your go-to sneaker or you've got loads of pairs in your rotation, then you definitely class yourself as a sneakerhead. You're an expert at pin rolling your jeans and you're waiting for the day that it comes back on trend again. You love to wear bright colors throughout your fits and you think the more minimal way of dressing is pretty boring. When you leave the house or even in the house, you're rarely seen without some form of headwear on your head and you own a few pairs of camouflage trousers. You're all about staying comfortable and most of your outfits are made up of sportswear pieces, but you don't play any sports yourself. You might go and watch the football on a weekend with a pint of Stella, but that's about it. You grew up listening to hip hop and you've probably got a tag that you spray on the side of buildings, or at least you did it when you were a kid. So did I get you right? Please leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you're not subscribed yet, do hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.